hey everybody welcome back to my channel so this was not the video that i was planning on film to filming today but um truth is i don't really have time to film the video that i wanted to film so my plan is i have to do this job anyway regardless of whether i'm filming it or not so i thought i might as well film while i'm doing it because it will make interesting content for you guys and you guys seem to like my medical videos a lot so I thought, why not show you what my TPN delivery and supplies, medical supplies delivery looks like. So behind me, we have nine lovely boxes. Um, two of them will be IV fluids. These three are TPN. This is my Trilock, which is a blood thinner, which um, keeps my line from clotting basically. So it's what I inject in this when I'm not using it. So it, all, all the blood that goes in there, it's not gonna clot or, so then when I go to flush it, it's not gonna send a clot to my heart and kill me or anything. Sounds dramatic, but um, anyway, that's what that is. And then the other three are just medical supplies that I need, like, I don't know, let me think. I don't know, like hand, like sanitizing stuff, but like the fancy hospital kind, um, like gloves. Uh, flushes, giving sets, that kind of thing, all that, and I'll go through it when I unbox it. Ow, my hip. So, today I thought that's what we'd do. Um, I unbox these boxes and go through it with you guys and show you where I store all my stuff um, and what an unboxing looks like of our medical delivery slash supplies. And if you at home uh, have just started TPN or feeds or something along those lines, then I guess is, this is what you can expect like delivery wise if you're wondering what your first delivery is going to look like and back in the day I actually did a video on my channel of a feed supplies delivery unboxing um, when I was living in the UK so if you're interested in that I will leave it up pop it up on screen somewhere or will be in the description so you can go check that out but without further ado let's get into the video let's get unboxing and i hope you guys enjoy so first things first we're gonna unbox the tpn which is these three boxes here i'm doing my best not to show my address but i might have to block some of this out so on here it says driver please contact your supervisor immediately if delivery is delayed refrigerate if delayed and it says store it between two to eight degrees um, refrigerate do not freeze that is because my TPN has to be kept in the fridge however it cannot be frozen um, so that is the first box I use every time or the first box I unbox every time just because well it has to be kept in the fridge so I'm gonna go and bring my boxes into the garage um, and I'm gonna go get my scissors to Slice them open. I'm gonna show you guys. I don't want to say like how I unbox because you know unboxing is pretty self-explanatory. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unbox all or open all of the boxes because otherwise I have to make loads of trips to the the fridge. I really need to get a proper like Stanley knife to do this, but uh, I just use my scissors because I just can't be bothered to. I'm scared that if I use a styling knife, I might cut too deep into the box or something, even though it's got like safety packaging. So this is what the box looks like when you open it. It has this like foil stuff, so I just move that out of the way. And then it comes with ice packs in there because it, like I said, it has to be kept cold. So while it's traveling, they pack it with a load of ice packs. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the bags onto the little sofa that's behind me. And then I'm just going to move the box aside and I'm going to do that with all of them. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do, what I do with the boxes because I do have to break these boxes down. So dad can take them to work to get rid of them because as you can imagine we accumulate a lot of packaging in this house. Okay so the first thing that I do is I get all the ice packs and I put them into one of the boxes. And then I pick up the foil kind of packaging. I'll fold this up properly later, but just for the speed of the video. And then these boxes, I'm just gonna leave to the side, but I will be, you know, cutting these down later to make them nice and flat. Okay, so now that I've got my little pile of TPN, I'm gonna open up the fridge, which you guys have seen in my TPN setup video. And if you haven't watched that video, then again, I will pop up on screen now, or it'll be in the description. 
Um, but as you can see, there's nothing in my fridge at the moment because we've run out. So I'm gonna move the bags from here to the fridge. And just one by one, bring them over like that. So in case I haven't mentioned this before, last one is I get TPN supplied to me in week deliveries, but the rest of my supplies I get supplied monthly. Done. And I will sort these out in one second, but I'm gonna do that off camera. So we're now in the bedroom. So I've got two boxes in front of me. These are so heavy that I had to use my wheelchair to get them here. And yeah, I just couldn't lift them because they're full of fluid. And if I try and lift heavy things, it just makes my shoulders dislocate. It's extremely painful. So on that note, um, let's unbox these. So I'm gonna unbox these first and then we'll get to the ones that are on the bed. So these boxes are both full of IV fluids. This is what the IV fluids look like. Um, so I will go stock the bottom of my drawer with those. So after I've unboxed everything, I'm gonna do that first. And then I'll take you to my drawers and I'll show you where we like stock everything. That seems like a better plan rather than unboxing, making a trip, unboxing, making a trip. If I wasn't filming, that's exactly what I would be doing. I would be unboxing it and then oh, going that way over there. And I think each box has 16 bags in of fluid, I think. And this is plasma light, so it's not just normal saline, it's got like... Um, a bit of everything in it. It's meant to mimic like your blood plasma and the same kind of proteins and vitamins that are in there So that's what that is. Next we're going to unbox this one. This one is very light um, It's so silly. They literally give the biggest boxes for like the tiniest little packages sometimes So in here is my Trilock. Open that up. And this one just says store at room temperature This one does not need to go in the fridge or anything that. I know some people keep their IV fluids in the fridge. Personally, I don't. I prefer not to. Um, I mean, you can, but I don't. So again, we have more foil stuff. And then we have baggies. It says, please use first. So I'll make sure to put those on the top. And then it's got another bag. I'm just gonna leave those on top of the IV fluids because we're gonna be taking those in there to um, put them away anyway. This one again. Not very heavy. Not particularly sure what's in this because these three are just medical supplies. I honestly cannot remember what I ordered, so we're gonna find out. Oh, okay, so these are giving sets. And by giving sets, I mean body sets. And these are the tubing that connects from me to my TPM. So we have two of those. So we'll just pop those over here. In this box we have some posi flushes and those are the saline flushes that I use to flush my line. Um, so we've got one box of those. And then the last box, which is a little bit heavier, but not too heavy. Okay, we have more posi flushes. Oh, and some other goodies. Okay, so we've got some compact hand towels. This is what we use to dry our hands with after we've washed them. We have another thing of posi flushes. So we have two of those now. We have two more things of hand towels because believe it or not, we go through these a lot and also Tom tends to drop half the packet when he opens it. So we go through them even quicker because if once it's been dropped on the floor, we can't use it then because um, they have to be not necessarily sterile, but they have to be clean. So. Got three of those. They will be going to the bathroom. We have some Chlorhexidine, which is 70% alcohol and it's like tinted pink. <clears throat> and it's like a hospital grade disinfectant, basically. So we got that. And then we have another debug hand hygiene solution. These get kept on the tray that you guys are on at the moment. There you can see there's a bottle of Chlorhexidine there. Um, and this is what we use to wipe down our trays with and clean our hands <clears throat> before we set up TPN, etc. So we need some more of those. So those are just gonna sit on the bottom of the tray. And then lastly, we have some Tegaderm, which is a clear dressing. It looks like this, that covers my line and keeps it nice and clean. It's not quite the same as this dressing, um, but it's similar to this. But normally I would use the Tegaderm with a little bio patch, 
but I will make another video on a dressing change and how we do that because I feel like that would be interesting for you guys to see. Anyway, that is it. So now we're going to go into the other room and we're going to put away all of our medical supplies. Hey guys, so um, I'm ready to start putting some of this away. However, I did just realise that I don't necessarily need every single thing that I've put down here because as you can see behind me, there is a lot of mess. Most of those are empty, however these on this side is my current stock and this is our spare bedroom in the house. Also, I'm currently living with my dad uh, while Tom and I get our own place. We're currently in the process of getting our own house, um, so that's why we're living with my, my dad at the moment. Um, so the spare bedroom is where we keep all of our stock because we honestly don't have anywhere else to put it at this moment, but however when we get our own house we will have like pretty much probably just a, like one of the spare, bed spare bedrooms will probably just turn into a medical storage place or something, I don't know. <laughs> so this is where we kind of keep stock that we're not using. Some of this stock can be put in the boxes, like two of these because we only need one at the moment. So I'm just gonna put all that kind of thing in those boxes. I'm not gonna necessarily show that, but I'm just letting you know that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna bring everything in here first and then we can, put everything away. I think that's probably the best plan, so bear with me. So, I've brought everything, well, I've brought one of everything of what I'm gonna need to restock my drawers. Um, however, the spare things, for example, you know, how we had like multiples of these, and we had multiples of these. The multiples are like in the bedroom, and they're like with the rest of the stock, like I showed you guys. Um, so now, we're gonna put these away, but I'm gonna start with, these compact towels because these get kept in our bathroom next to the sink so first things first is we're gonna go put that in the bathroom um, because well, that's where we keep it because um, we run out of these and we were waiting on a delivery so we were using some kitchen roll instead um, however now we have our compact towels back so this just basically stays in this little corner here and that's what we use to dry our hands with after we've done our like hand hygiene. And if you haven't seen my TPN setup video, please go check it out. It will pop up on the screen somewhere um, because that's, you know, our hand hygiene and that's what that's to do with. Next, uh, we are going to be putting away the chura lock, which are these things here. Now this is actually labeled, where is it, on here. And this says, please use first. So. I'm going to make sure I put this one on the top, but as you can see, they're in a bag inside a bag. So first things first, I'm just going to cut these open. Like so. And then I just basically grab the chunk of these. This is going to go in the second one down. I'm just going to put all these together with the oldest ones on the top. And then I'm just going to put this on top of that because these ones need to be used first before any of those other ones. So this is what my drawer currently looks like. We have a bunch of churlock here that can be drawn up by hand, but these syringes are already measured out with what I need. So I'm just gonna pop those in there like that. And that's that drawer. The next thing, which also goes in the same drawer as the churlock, is my tegaderm. So for that, this normally sits at the front, but I'm just gonna move it out of the way for a second. And the tegaderm sits behind that one, so that just sits at the back, out of the way. And then that sits like that. Okay, next we're gonna be doing the um, posi flushes, which is this one here. So I'm just gonna open up this box. Now, it's not been that long since we stocked the top, so it doesn't need too much in there, but I am gonna put probably two rows. So, as you can see, there is some stock already in there, but we're just gonna put So now that's nice and full, close that. Next, this is our giving set drawer, and this one is quite bare. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the bodyguard giving set box. Probably put about three per row, if that makes sense. Sometimes we could probably put a little bit more, maybe four, and we'll fit. We'll just have to test it. Yeah, that closed is fine. So we can probably do about four per row. And then we finished that box. So really, I could actually probably go and get another box. Another box.
box could probably fit in there. Also, another thing that we gotta do when we have a delivery is we have to do a stock take to make sure that we know how much stock we have left because then when Baxter ring me, Baxter is the company that delivers my supplies. The bottom of the box there, Baxter. Um, they're the people that deliver my supplies. So when they ring me, which they usually ring me at least once a month, and they will ask me what I need to order, etc. So if as long as we keep a stock take, well, then we know what needs ordering and what doesn't. So <laughs> hope that makes sense. Okay, so I'm just gonna open another box of the giving set. Um, we're just gonna stock the drawer. So drawer is now fully stocked. Maybe a little bit too full if anything, but it closes, so that's all right. And then these are the dressing packs, which it's pretty, you know, it's not too low in stock, so I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, even though I know we didn't get a delivery of dressing packs today, but we do have stock of those, but they don't really particularly need restocking, so that's fine. And then lastly, the last thing we're gonna do is restock the bottom drawer, which is the IV fluids. I'm gonna have a look, because there isn't much stock at all of these. We only have two bags. Restock, we usually put them like this, this way, because that way we can fit more in is to lie them flat. Sorry, they're so loud and crinkly. That will probably do. So that's fully restocked. And then the rest we will keep in the bedroom with the others. And that is pretty much it. That is basically what a supply delivery looks like. You know, unboxing and then restocking. Um, and probably do that at least once a month, I would say. Um, but we do restock it, you know, a few times throughout the month because you go through supplies a lot quicker than what you think you go through. Especially because sometimes, you know, if you're setting up a sterile field and you accidentally drop something on the floor, you can't use it. You know, you've got to start a whole new sterile field. So some nights you might go through double the amount of supplies that you would normally go through. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you really, if you did enjoy it, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button to join the family. And if there's any other kind of videos that you would like to see from me, um, don't forget to leave them down below and I will do my best to get around to doing them eventually. Yeah, like, subscribe, all that jazz. I love you guys so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.